Hello everyone, it's Nob here. Welcome back to my 16 whole subscribers and anyone else that's been checking out my stuff. Um, got a nice war today, uh, taking in my usual Titania, Nimrod and Havoc. Got to take revenge on a couple of fights today as well. So um, let's get to it. We're going to be taking on my usual path two all the way plus that nick on the first shared central node uh, nothing on the boss island for me today first up nice and simple we've got man thing um, it's a really easy fight i don't need to worry about poison because there's no nullify therefore no pustules or anything like that um, i'm just going to play it nice and slow and steady with titania it's a really simple fight done it done this and similar champs on this path pretty much you get the same pool of defenders they're usually pretty simple and straightforward um, dex the sp1 get into sp2 occasionally as it's easier to, to avoid um, yeah just make use of haymakers when they're active bully him in the corner back off when i need to and get back in to slowly pound him down he gets a bit of regen which is really nothing to worry about Titania places so many debuffs and I have despair at max, so she all but hill blocks him. Uh, his regen really isn't an issue here. And as I said, no poisons for me to worry about. Nice and clean. Bish, bash, bosh. Nice little haymaker there to tank the SP1 and gain Now, before I move up to my second fight with Doom, I'm aware that I died to him last war. I was a bit silly pushing him to SP2 and just messed everything up a little bit so this time I was going to concentrate on just keeping him on SP1 um, be a bit more careful of my haymakers and um, just make the fight a lot cleaner I did boost up and I um, think I used an invuln yeah I did use an invuln boost as well just to be careful because let's face it I was a little bit scarred um, but felt good about the fight it wasn't the EMP node which was irrelevant for Titania anyway so arguably you could suggest it's the same fight. Um, yeah, use a haymaker nice and early just to push him up a little bit. Um, I've just made a much cleaner job of him this time. Not too much to say about the fight. It's um, the most important thing, although I did eat his SP1 there, reuse up my indestructible. It wasn't too much of an issue. Um, the most important thing to worry about was I wanted to keep a better eye on my haymakers. Um, for this exact reason, so didn't have to bother with dexing. As I said, I'm not shy to say that Doom isn't my strongest champ to fight. I'm a bit 50-50 with eating slash dexing his specials, so if I can use the haymakers nice and cleanly to tank them, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, it's going nice and smoothly, I'm still at full health. Um, really got no issues with the fight and we're going to see it out nice and cleanly. Had to dex that one just to show I'm actually capable, just for the record. I was getting a bit of stick from my officers but it's all good, as long as I don't die. And there we go, good night Mr Doom. So that's one revenge fight out of the way, clean and happy, uh, coming up next to Nick in the centre. Um, the last couple of times it's been null there and I've used Absman, but this time was assigned Havoc. I was quite looking forward to this, I haven't used him for quite a while. Um, he's pretty cheese for the node in that he's incinerate immune and the shocks were going to drive his plasma crazy and he's got big energy resistance. Um, we put an Odin shock pre-fight on there anyway just to minimise any shock damage when they build up, despair etc. So. It was pretty safe. Um, I made use of blocking Nick a few times to increase his power so I can get him to SP2 a bit easier. I didn't want to start taking multiple SP1s on the block with all the prowess he's going to get. Um, when he's on a bit more full power, I can just hit his block to get rid of those flourishes, bait the SP2 and get back in. I wasn't going to start worrying about trying to parry heavy because you can't parry on this node. Um, I wasn't going to mess around too much with trying to sort my prowesses out as I knew that a bunch of back-to-back -back SP2s were going to do plenty of damage with the prowess which you can just see eating away at him. Um, yeah, the um, 
because I haven't done this fight again, I was a little bit not worried about it, as I knew it would be fine, but I thought it might be a little bit tougher than it was, but Nick's going down nice and easy. A shame the uh, SP2 there got him just before his second life, so it didn't get him down there. But uh, I think there's another couple to go, and it's nice, clean in and out. Really easy just to keep into that SP2 as well with the tactic. So yeah, really pleased with this fight, how it went. Probably could have just got away a cheeky SP1 there to finish him off, but didn't mind too much. And that's that. So coming up to section two, we've got this mojo, which I found a lot of fun actually. Um, it's going to be a different fight from my previous in the last war, because this time I'll actually be able to throw some specials. Um, but Mojo was a little bit stingy here, which you'll see. You know, he wasn't firing too many specials, and ideally I like to try and keep him just personally to SP1. It's easier to deal with, just dash back. But he wasn't being too kind with it, and then you naturally have to dash back against him anyway, just obviously to avoid getting hit. He was getting a lot of dash back prompts as well, which I knew was going to feed his power. Um, again, the SP2 isn't too bad to deal with, but I like to avoid it if I can. Um, as you can see, I'm just slowly giving him power from feeding his prompts. I decided not to employ the Haymaker here as I th figured that his SP2 is just going to be coming up any minute now, any second now, nothing. And we're still going, he's slowly getting me back to the corner. And now, use a special attack, neither of us are going to... It's going to get nasty, I decided just to uh, employ the Haymaker there and push him to a special and I knew I didn't, hadn't worried about any vulnerability boost here but I knew this is going to do generally lots luckily I had the haymaker active he played right into it so I'm pleased with that but I knew that as soon as the haymaker finishes I'd carry on degening so straight into an sp3 for myself which gives me a much longer haymaker and I'd be able to finish the fight nice and clean with no damage taken um, yeah just really pleased with how that went and just making really full useful use, I should say, of Titania's Haymakers. Now, before I get into this next fight, which I've done countless times now, it's usually Nimrod Cheese and really easy, the last time I took it, which I think was the second war, the second war of this season, before I had the balls to start recording season fights, um, the fight went as usual in that I got to SP2, sorted my combos out, had all the boosts and tech boosts on, um, somehow the SP2 didn't kill him, um, and he got, and he then threw an unblockable SP1, which crit massively through my block, and killed me instantly. It was like such a freak death, I went nuts. Um, so this time, it's determined for history not to repeat itself. I went in with the plan of parrying initially a few times to try and build some power, which you'll see I quickly get bored of because it wasn't building much. Um... Just being super careful, really. I was also realising the risk of building all these armours from parrying, because more buffs means more shocks if he does manage to get a special against me, which would possibly kill me. So I was just super careful to manipulate my combo and get the SP2 off before he had a chance, and it worked like clockwork here. Nice and clean, 15 hits in 19 seconds, and good night. And that's revenge number two, and the end of the war for me. So that's how things stand at the minute, um, pretty early in the war still and a fair bit of work still to do, so I'll update later in the comment section or description what the result was. And before I go, after a bit of nagging, I promised my three amigos, Josh, Crimson and Pabon, a little shout out, uh, and also wanted to give a shout out to my mate Bitter Still, who has an amazing channel, go check it out. Um, just a thank you for advice and getting me, helping me get to this stage and starting recording making vids. I'll see you all at the next one. Bye!